So I'm taking a video in the middle of the day today. Um, it's 10.30ish because I've just had a pretty shit morning um, and I'm feeling really guilty about it and um, I'm feeling a bit guilty about the videos full stop. So um, it's the 20th of March today and um, at least I think it's the 20th, it could be the 21st. Um, and it's the middle of coronavirus craziness. So everyone's panic buying food. And um, I thought it was not really gonna be a very big deal, but it, I'm just, I start, I went to go and order some stuff online and I, I thought, okay, it's probably gonna make sense if I order some like meal replacement powder, um, Huel was the one I was gonna order. And then that's on a, a week's um, extra delivery time. And I just started getting really worried about not being able to get access to the food I need to do, the meal plan that I need to be on in a way that like, it just, um, yeah, it, it just made me think, crap, I need to rethink my meal plan so that I can have a month's supply of food stored in the house so like less fresh food um more kind of non-perishable stuff um and just rethink everything so that i don't get stuck and it might be me <laughs> doing what everyone else is doing and getting worried unrealistically but i just food is so fucking complicated anyway and i get so stressed about things that shouldn't be stressful that um I've just managed to spend the last three hours trying to rearrange things. Um, I had I had my keys available this morning and I can't even remember why. Like my keys to all, my, my freezer and my cupboard and so on. I, I can't even remember why now, but I think there was a legit reason. And um, so I rearranged everything and redid my meal plan so that it's got less fresh food in it. and it's just an excuse but I did loads of chewing and spitting food during that and that's just stupid because the whole thing is that I'm worried about food supply and I'm in a really lucky position in that I can work from home and I'm not in significant financial trouble because of coronavirus you know I haven't lost my job and I'm not going to struggle to pay the rent and I, I kind of feel like I feel like even bothering to shoot these videos and expecting anyone to watch them is ridiculously indulgent when everyone has so much bigger things to deal with than a fucking eating disorder. And really, I should have bigger things to deal with than an eating disorder, but I'm lucky to not have them. Yet, despite all of that, I'm still just running stupid patterns. And it's just, I just feel, lucky and guilty and a bit pathetic for not just getting my act together. Um, I've also drafted my um, email that I want to send to all my family and I've just got to record a couple of explanatory videos um, before I send it out but I'm dragging my feet on sending it out because I feel <laughs> it's the same thing. I'm just the idea of sending an email like that that is like I've gotten over the sharing thing I'm ready to share it but it's just me, 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 look at my tiny me problem when everyone has giant problems right now and it just feels so fucking indulgent. But at the same time, I need to tell people, I need to get it out. I can't just wait until this stuff blows over. That's ridiculous. So I guess I've made peace with it, but now I just feel, made peace with sharing. But now I just feel a bit, instead of feeling really positive about sharing, I feel pretty conflicted and guilty about sharing instead, which is just a uh, not very pleasant change from the kind of high of, yeah, I'm finally gonna, you know, get my life back and get people back in my life and all of that. And it just feels, I don't know, me, me, me.